Testing is considered one of the most important tools, of course, in slowing the spread, but those efforts could be slowed by our weather. Andrea Flores checked on the community testing efforts, and Andrea, those sites close in bad weather. That's right, Karen, and with snow and cold temperatures expected into the weekend, the Denver Department of Public Health and Environment is closing this community testing site at Denver Human Services East, along with three other sites across the city due to the snow, and today people prepared and got tested ahead of the closure. So I came in today to um, get tested. Alejandro is a Lyft driver in Denver. He's getting tested for COVID-19. I like to do it anytime I'm in contact with someone that I think might be sick. He rushed to the testing site at Denver Human Services East when he found out all four Denver community drive-up sites would be closed Friday due to snow. I need to know. <laughs> yeah. the, the sooner the better, um, just, just to keep my customers safe. Tony Diaz, testing site director for the Denver Department of Public Health and Environment, says the closure is part of a winter safety plan. There's several factors. Um, wind chill is one of them. Um, anything below 25 degrees will kind of start monitoring the wind chill there. Uh, precipitation and heavy snowfall is the other. And usually by noon, the day prior is when we'll make that determination. He says shutting down the testing sites is their last resort. We'll always try to, you know, either do a delayed opening or an early close before we um, shut down the sites completely. Alejandro says it's best to play it safe and plan ahead. It is a relief because now at least I know by the time next week comes around, I'll be getting a result. Now, DDPHE says you might see those long testing lines the day after a snow event. And the best way to make sure that those lines keep moving, they say, is to register beforehand if possible. Now, they say as far as testing and those results, there should be no impact on the lab results once they get sent to the lab. Reporting in Denver, I'm Andrea Flores covering Colorado First. All right, Andrea, thank you for that.